what's up people how's it going this is Bharat and welcome back to yet another video uh, in this video i'm going to be answering a very important question that all of you guys have been asking me i'm going to be coming up with the python skivi advanced tutorial series in the upcoming weeks but before that i wanted to answer a very important question so i want to answer if you you are somebody who's going to develop for python and use the gui toolkit should you choose python skivi library or should you choose the qt5 library so that's what i'm going to be discussing in this video i have three different sections to target and within this section i'll be targeting which is better and which is uh, not so better so those are going to be the uh, target for this video let's get this video started straight away all right guys so even before we begin i want to give a shout out to the sponsor for us with this video an academy along with coach Chef. i just take quick one minute of your time to talk about what they are doing and come back and let's start the video together i just want to quickly highlight the uh, upcoming batches that are coming as part of the Unacademy along with Coach of Partnership. The first one is the C++ Everest 2.0 which is a competitive course that is being taught by Deepak Gaur as well as Arjun Arul and if you see the classes are starting from intermediate, beginners as well as advanced classes as well. There are a few courses out there that we can definitely check it out and if you see the educators themselves, Deepak Gaur is a number four educator on the competitive programming platform. He's an ICPC world finalist. Similarly, Arjun Arul is also an ICPC world finalist and they, these two are going to be teaching you this competitive to programming in C++. The next batch that you can definitely check out is the Everest 2.0 which is taught in the Python programming language. It is taught by Sanket Singh as well as Arnab Chakraborty who are uh, themselves the top educators. Sanket Singh being the number one educator is also a software development engineer at LinkedIn. Arnab Chakraborty on the other hand has over 21 years of com computer science experience and is also part of this uh, educator profile. Now, if you guys are interested, you can choose the subscription and use the referral code coming down below. If you choose the 6-month or the 12-month subscription plan, you'll get an attempt at Code Chef's DSA exams and the winners are going to get a lot of different goodies along with that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be very happy to answer any of them. Alright, so to begin with, we have the PyQt5 on one hand and Kiwi on the other hand. And you're going to be discussing about which is better in the three different categories that I'm going to, I'm going to be showing you. The first category is going to be in the, in the desktop app development segment and uh, we are going to be looking at a qt5 which is more of a wrapper around the main framework which is built which was built on c++ whereas uh, the kiwi which is a toolkit that is actually built on uh, using the python library so if you ask me what should i choose for desktop app development my choice will always be qt5 or the qt library uh, the primary reason because the pi qt5 uh, or the qt is a powerhouse of a framework that is was that was built primarily for desktop app development uh, desktop app de development related things so the qt5 already has a qt designer in place and uh, you all you need to do is just use the qt designer drag and drop things and it's automatically going to build you the final application uh, the python skivi on the other hand is also similarly used for uh, desktop app development but it is mere mere toolkit basically you have it as a ui toolkit uh, my choice with respect to desktop app development will obviously be qt5 uh, you can use pyqt5 you can you can have the database you can have the networking all of that uh, linked along with this qt5 itself and that's why i'm going to be choosing pyqt5 for a desktop app development does this mean that i cannot or i should not use python kiwi for a desktop app development the answer is no you can definitely use it but use it, it uh, use it as a toolkit rather than as a complete framework and uh, that's what my choice is going to be for desktop Let's move on to the next segment, which is the app development with mobile. And mobile app development is a very, very new kind of a uh, segment for Python itself. Uh, the Kiwi, which is the first toolkit that was built on top of Python, uh, has brought it to life for uh, over the last five years, in my opinion. Uh, if you see Python Kiwi, uh, it's, it's also a toolkit similar to Flutter, which is built on top of Dart. So if we see Python Skibi as a library or if you want to see Python Skibi as a toolkit, uh, you will see that it has got a lot of different things that is similar to all the available toolkits in the market. So my choice for mobile app development will obviously be Python Skibi. If you ask me, can I not use the Qt5 to build mobile applications? The answer is yes, you can use it. But if you, you need to transcompile or you need to compile your Python code into an Android code. The Kiwi on the other hand does the same thing, but it do is it is doing internal. Uh, over the last year or so, they have done a lot of amount of work on building this Python's uh, Python language compiled version code into the uh, binary to the Android binary so that it can be deployed on Android and also similarly, it's also built for iOS as well. So the support is there for Kiwi and that's why I'm saying that for mobile app development, you can choose Kiwi with your eyes closed. 
All right, so next step uh, is the uh, building commercial applications. So now when you think about commercial applications, these are applications that you will be selling out. So when you want to sell out applications, let's say you are building a, your enterprise application for some company out there, or you're building enterprise application for a bank or things like that, right? Um, the choice should obviously be with respect to using Kiwi or the Py PyQt. So if you see PyQt5, it's again, like I said, in the starting, it's also, it's built on top of the main designer, which is a framework. Uh, uh, built on c plus plus and it's also a company that is giving open source code but you need to buy commercial license so that means that if you want to sell commercial applications that is built using qt you need to buy the commercial uh, commercial license from them and only then you'll be able to distribute your software uh, commercially so that's kind of a thing that you need to th uh, think about when you want to build using qt5 and also sell out sell it out as an application secondly if you see the kiwi application it is little bit limited in terms of uh, building in uh, building it up to a commercial application so you don't have to worry about uh, mobile android uh, mobiles android or ios applications i'm merely talking about uh, licensed applications that is going to go for uh, specific companies only so these would primarily be desktop applications so if you want to sell out desktop applications that you have built on kiwi you can go ahead and do that there is no restrictions on buying licenses and things like that because it's an open source toolkit uh, compared to a qt which is a more of a powerhouse of a framework so those are the three different segments that i want to discuss and let's move to the final verdict which is obviously what you guys came here for should i choose python's uh, python's kiwi or should i choose the qt5 or the qt design and uh, get done with my work all right so it's going to have two parts to it the first part is what is it that you want to do are you targeting primarily mobile or are you, are you targeting primary desktop that's the reason why i started with those three segments in the initial uh, slides now if you think about mobile uh, go for kiwi if you think about desktop go for qt now how far is the or how much time do you have to deploy these applications now the second uh, part of this uh, uh, this answer will obviously be about how much time do you have to deploy this application or sell it out commercially or even build it for the production environment the, the answer should obviously be targeted around uh, the uh, the time that you're going to take now qt5 designer is obviously going to be very 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 easy uh, it's not going to take more than 20 days or maybe 15 to 20 days to build the entire front end portion and also another month uh, in the back end working connecting it to a db connecting it to a server connecting it via a network and things like that whereas kiwi if you see it's more of us building things from scratch it is going to have a little bit of a, a learning curve associated with it and also it's going to be looking more of a ui toolkit only so you need to build things from scratch by your own meaning that you need to build your own network module you need to build your own database module and all of that is going to take definitely some time so if you're a student who's looking to learn just go for kiwi because it's more of a uh, the new kid in the block if you want me to say and it's also a very good competitor for all the available toolkits in the market but if you're somebody who's on to building uh, you are somebody in a, a working in a, a company or you want to sell commercial applications uh, just go for qt5 and build your applications and buy the license from them and sell your product commercially so that is going to be the final verdict for this video hope you guys all liked it uh, if you had any questions or comments you can drop that in the section below i'll be very very happy to answer all of that as usual like this video if you did like this video and uh, subscribe to the channel for more content i'll meet you in the next video a lot of new things are coming up stay tuned until then it's Bharat. peace out have a super awesome day